Welcome back to the New Hampshire Woodshop. Well, I was thinking about it the other day. I realized I didn't have a video on making a moxin vise. What self-respecting YouTube channel about woodworking doesn't have video on moxin vices? So today we're going to build a moxin vise. So let's get started. <laughs>
know, I probably should have done this. Actually, I know I should have done this uh, before I glued this board on. But uh, alas, I didn't, so we'll have to make it just a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. So let's try and get through it. The linseed oil, boiled linseed oil, was uh, sitting on here for about 20 minutes. Give it a nice wipe down, let it dry overnight. And um, it will be done. I'll tell you, the linseed oil really makes flame birch look nice. I think, anyway. Now you got to remember, as a warning, your linseed oil rags need to be laid out to dry. Do not throw them, throw them away. I know everybody knows that it can spontaneously combust. However, I'm always amazed that experienced woodworkers, people who have been doing it for 30 years, end up burning down their shop because they forgot. They accidentally left it wadded up on your on their bench or thrown away in the trash can. Um, it can easily happen. Uh, I'm not saying that they were dumb, not in the least. It just, things like that happen. Uh, and I find the best way to keep that from happening is as soon as I'm done, I will lay it over the trash can, open, right along, right, um, along the uh, rim of the trash can, and it'll, it will dry, sit there and dry like that, and um, won't catch on fire. But if I wait, if I put it down and, oh, I'll come back in five minutes and put all that stuff away, well, I won't. And... Um, that is a very dangerous thing to have happen. So, right now, I'm going to take this rag, put it right over my trash can, and that. Anyway, first things first, I'm going to clean off my bench. There we go. 
Now I would lay it over, over my trash can. It's good to go. Well, I'm a little impatient to see how this thing works. So I got myself a piece of poplar here and we'll test it out. Then we're going to cut some dovetails. Well, pretty rock solid. Look at that. I guess old Moxon knew what he was talking about, huh? Nice, nicely done. If I wanted to switch it over, I can use it to one side, flip it over, and crank it down, and there we go. She's in there solid. Well, there we are. Nice little project. Um, that's our Mox advice. Now we are just like every other YouTube woodworking channel. We got ourselves a moxin vise. Now, of course, this is a size I thought would work best for me. Uh, small, that I could take on the road, and um, we'll see how it works. But you can make it any size you want. Uh, possibilities are endless. So, all right, that's it for this project. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and um, we'll keep this show going. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time on the New Hampshire Woodshop.